All right, guys, so we're back here today. We're going to be working on the uh, N55 uh, lower engine block. Uh, we're going to be disassembling the oil pan, uh, taking a look, uh, take the connecting rods off, inspect the bearings, and then what I might also do, I may spot check some clearances on the connecting rod bearings to see what type of clearances this uh, 72,000 mile engine has. We're going to be replacing the bearings, but just to get an idea what type of clearance, uh, there's this is a reoccurring issue for N55 rod bearings, uh, spun bearings. Um, so, just trying to get some more information. So, let's uh, go ahead, take the oil pan off, and go from there. All right, just took the oil pan off. <laughs> this is funny, and this. Uh, Looks like all the remnants of a belt gasket. Yeah, this is this is not. Someone's taken this oil pan off before, and I don't know. Just put this inside here and just lock it up back. I don't get it. Typically, these engines, if you if you have a oil filter gasket, overhead oil filter gasket leaking onto the belt the belt could slip and then catch on the crank and then pull it through the front crank seal and kind of have shreds inside here and that's typically what you see and then you'll see all the shreds and all the pieces around the oil pump around the gears but somebody here just took this and arrested here I don't know so it's a good thing I'm going through this engine because you never would have known had you taken this off or look at it okay So we took number three bearing rod bearing off. You can see it's got a little grooving and wearing on the inside. It's not it's not that bad. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna do the plastic gate check and see what our spawn clearance is. All right, so. Uh, these are these connecting rods are torque to yield bolts torque spec is 20 Newton meter plus 70 degrees plus another 70 degrees I'm not gonna go the last 70 degrees I'm just gonna do 20 Newton meters and do the first 70 degrees and then we'll check it All right, so I think we're about three. Not quite two. And not quite three, maybe two and a half tau. That seems like spec. So that's good. Rings are loose. This is number three. But you can see all the carbon build up. The oil or control ring.
I've just taken off number three and number four piston. Now, and I've already checked the uh, asphalt clearance on number three. When I took number four connecting rod off, it felt very loose when I took it off. It didn't feel, it didn't feel like it was torqued or the torque was existing uh, that that typically you would torque a connecting rod bolt with. Um, I mean, when I use the impact gun, the, the the electric gun, it just very loosely. I'm wondering if these bolts have stretched and loosened on the connecting rod. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the breakaway torque on the rest of them and see what we find. So we'll start with number one. Okay, this broke at 42 foot-pounds. This broke at 43 foot-pounds. To me, I think that's too loose. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and torque this back up. To Okay, 20 Newton meters. Now we're gonna go 70 degrees. Got close there. That's the first 70 degrees. Now we're gonna go and do uh, see what the what torque it takes to move this. Okay, it's taken about 70 to 75 foot pounds to move the connecting rod bolts on the first 70 degrees. I haven't gotten the second 70 degrees yet. So to me, I think these bolts are stretched and they're loosening on the connecting rods. Um, but it's concerning to me that the torque to yield bolts are losing tension or they're stretching. Let's check number six. Okay, that took 28 Newton meters to break away. Hmm. 29 Newton meters to break away. You guys can see that? Two thousands on number six. All right, so uh, we got the bearings out. I wanted to show you the connecting rod bearings. Um, you guys can see, you're starting to wear in the middle of each of these bearings has got a consistent markings. Consistent markings. 
right in the center. Okay, so these are indications that your bearings are starting to wear. You can see that. Right, you can see that on the rods as well. Okay. Um, I do believe that the bolts is a contributor to that. I think these bolts probably stretched and loosened up. And then the rod uh, caps are getting loose and then they're creating more of a wearing condition. So that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think.